Today we gather for the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Let us put ourselves before the compassion and mercy of the Lord. Lord Jesus, you come to give forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to give healing. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to guide us by your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty with sincerity of heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some men for us to go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek, while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hands, Israel prevailed. And whenever he lowered his hands, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew very weary. So they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the sun set. And Joshua defeated Amulek and his people with the sword. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that the one who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message. Be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. Brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about their need to pray always and do not lose heart. He said, in a certain city, there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected hum any human being. In that city was a widow who kept coming to him saying, grant me justice against my opponent. For a while the judge refused, but later he said to himself, though I fear no God and respect no human, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not weary me may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. Will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, God will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, 
will he find faith on earth? My brothers and sisters, our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, if you still remember two weeks ago, if you don't remember, just watch the previous video, you know, I talk about praying. And exactly this week, we heard, we just heard again something about prayer. In the first reading, Moses, while Joshua went to war, to do war, Moses praying. And he has two assistants, Aaron and what is who or, or someone, or oh, right? Yeah. They help Moses. So, and it is interesting that every time Moses raised his hand, wow, the Israelites win. But every time he feel tired, and what is, bring low his hands, they collapse. But don't to pay attention on that. Because the psalmist in the responsorial psalms remind us that our help actually is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So it's not depend on Moses' hands. But the human try, human effort to pray, that's important. That's very important. Brothers and sisters, God's blessing is everywhere, like Wi-Fi, you know. There's many places have Wi-Fi, you know, Wi-Fi signal. That's everywhere. But in order to access those Wi-Fi, you have to have device. Good device, proper device, and you can use that. That's same with God's blessing. God's blessing is everywhere. But the question is, are we ready to accept God's blessing or not? There's an interesting thing. I'm studying Old Testament now, so uh, a little bit about Hebrew. The Hebrew word for blessing is berek, B-R-K. The same word also have the, the other meaning, which is knee. You can only receive God's blessing when you kneel down. Humble yourself. That's why the gospel today, we heard together the interaction, the relation between the widow and judge. You know, the widow at the time, they had no right. They had, like, they had no everything to fight for. They're poor. Because once someone's husband pass away, all the, what is, all the property not belong to her anymore, but uh, belong to the family of her husband. So she has nothing. That's why when she went to the judge, that means she fight for her life. Brothers and sisters just watched the previous video, you know, two weeks ago. When I said, just ask and ask, even though you don't know, you need this or you, it's just you want this. Just ask like this widow. Because if this, I say, this wicked judge can grant everything that the widow wants, you see our God, he knows what you need and he will help you in the appointed time, in the exact time. But, this is important. How about when it seems that God doesn't reply to us? That's important, brothers and sisters. If you have time, read Daniel, the book Daniel chapter 3. It is about the Daniel's friends, uh, Hananiah, Azariah, Misael, or uh, their name. The other name is Sadrach, Mesach, Abednego. When they about to put in that by Nebuchadnezzar, they talk to Nebuchadnezzar says, okay, we will not like, we will not follow your God. 
our God will help, will help us. But if our God doesn't want to help us, we keep our faith to, the, to God. And remember Mary's prayer, you know, when the angel Gabriel come to Mary, Mary just, just come. Okay, I don't understand this. I don't understand this, but not my will, your will. And I believe Mary teaches Jesus about this teaching. Because in the Gethsemane, Jesus was afraid as human. He's God. But at the time, he afraid. He was fear as human. And he said to God, God, if you want, take this cup from me. But it is not my will. Your will. Brothers and sisters, sometimes, we probably can pray like Moses. But sometimes we have to pl pray, uh, play a role as Aaron too. To help those who are tired. Because not everybody can pray. And that's our responsibility to pray for them. I remember, I, uh, my mom teaches me something. Because I remember Mary's teach Jesus, my mom teaches me something. My mom, when I was kids, my mom told Dimas, every time you hear the ambulance, the ambulance, pray five Hail Marys. Why? Because believe me, in the ambulance, either people is dying or just recent got accident, or like mom who will pray, or what is a uh, deliver baby? They cannot pray at the time. We send Mother Mary to them. We can be like Aaron. We don't have to be always like Moses. We pray, but sometimes we need helping others to pray. Let us help others with our prayer. Amen. I invite you to pray with me the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, and through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present to the Lord our needs and needs of our larger community. For all those who have died, especially for Odessa Weaver, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of our families and students and teachers as they begin the new school year, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I invite you to lift up your own needs and concerns. Lord God, we lift up to you these and all those needs that weigh in our hearts. We make them known through your son, Jesus, who lives with us and through us now and forever. Amen. So we prepare the altar again. I thank you for your support. My mail update is we actually got mail every day this week. It's like a miracle. But here again, your generosity helps us to be generous to many folks in need. 
Lord God, we ask that you bless this bread and this wine, fruit of the field and fruit of the vine, so it soon becomes the very body and blood of Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Receive with favor, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be ours through heavenly blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you've made and forever praise you in your mighty works through your son Jesus. We join all the angels as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed into the world into his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave me thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our bishop, and all of the women and men who lead and guide the church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the fullness of God's kingdom as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And for those who are so blessed to have others with you, I invite you to share a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to ask the risen Lord spiritually to give you that strength and wisdom and grace to be able to be good stewards of all that God blesses you with. This is the body of Christ. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from a participation in these heavenly things, we may be strengthened to build your kingdom in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to pray with me our family prayer for justice and human dignity, crafted by Cardinal Gregory and the bishops of our diocese. Loving, Loving and, faithful and faithful God, we come, come to you, Father, 
to ask that through your Son, Jesus, in a communion with the Holy Spirit, you help us in the battle against America's original sin of racism that divides us from being the body of Christ that we are called to be as your children. We implore you to give us your wisdom so that we may build a community founded on the gospel message, the life and dignity of all people from the womb to the tomb, and to live in communion like the divine communion of the Holy Trinity. Bless parents that they may form their children of faith to love one another regardless of skin color, ethnicity, and national origin, just as Jesus loves us. Bless and protect all of us as we live out our faith and be an instruments of your peace, as St. Francis said. Fill us with a thirst for justice and righteousness. Hear our prayer. Give us the courage, compassion, and perseverance to root out any form of injustice within our communities and to bring the healing love of Christ to all in need. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Church, hasten to help us and intercede on our behalf so our archdiocese can continue to witness to the gospel message of life and dignity of all people. Amen. Our announcements. We're still open to anyone who wishes to come and join us for Sunday school. And Sunday school classes have now begun. So there'll be information on what we send out with this mass online. There'll be a link for all of that for Sunday school. So people who are interested in becoming fully Catholic through either baptism, confirmation, or making the first communion, we're now open for that. If you contact us, we'll connect you with the right people to do that. Our young Teens who wish to be confirmed, they begin the first Sunday in November, November the 6th. They'll meet after the 12 o'clock Mass in the sacristy up front with Rosalind Brown and her team. So there's many opportunities to begin to have the whole family get all the grace and sacraments that you need this coming year. Uh, our medical students from Georgetown University are joining us October the 30th, the end of this month. They will be here to do some special stuff around as we get ready to celebrate like Halloween and Thanksgiving and all that. And we're inviting our Sunday school community families, those t the children and their parents to join us that day. They're gonna do some special stuff in reference to families. So that's a great opportunity for all of us. We'll be, they'll be after the mass downstairs on Sunday at one o'clock in the Pioneer Room. And I wanna again thank Father Dimas, who's from O Carm, to celebrate with us and to preside and although you don't see him preside, he's presiding and he's definitely preaching, as you saw. So thanks very much for all of that. And I'll be back in person very shortly. I promise I'm not going to run away forever. I'm just taking a two-week break so I can get some rest. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord continue to open our hearts and our minds to be surprised by God's grace. Let the church say... Amen. May the Lord give blessing in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.